Yeah, I can't do this one in the Fran costume, mostly because it's been kind of a hectic past uh, few days, so I've only had time to film, like, maybe one thing at a time. I, I was able to film the cosplay in one day, but I couldn't do the review because I've just had so much stuff to do. I'm still going to leave in the montage and the cosplay and the thumbnail, but honestly, I, I think what I did is about as good as it gets. Um, I really can't do the hair. I'd have to buy a wig to do the hair. But anyway, welcome to my review of The Nanny Season 3. If you've seen the title, I will get to that at some point, but first, let's let's give some compliments. I think the show is still pretty good, and I still think, you know, the humor is really good, the acting is good, and I'm still going to continue watching it, I'm still enjoying it. So overall, I still like everything. Niles is awesome, and Cece, and they're, they're still funny. No more hints at there being a romance between them. Luckily, the kids were in it more. That's good, that's improvement on the last season. All right, now let's uh, get to the reason you're actually watching this video. Yeah, I think with season three, this honestly was not one of the better seasons of the show, which you typically expect most TV shows to get less good after a while. Everyone talks about like Friends, Big Bang Theory, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, I don't know, I just said, hmm didn't expect it to happen after season three. Uh, I think one of the main issues that I had with the show was that they, first of all, kept repeating the same plot over and over and over again. There was one part of season three where it felt like the plot of every episode was that Fran would meet this seemingly wonderful guy and they would have this nice little like moment or something. Maybe it was like at a grocery store or restaurant or something. And then like two days after meeting him, going on a date with him, he turned out to be crazy. And they literally just like over and over and over again. I think back to back one time. I don't know. I could be wrong. And then Mr. Sheffield would get jealous but not jealous or anything. And yeah, that it just got really repetitive. I think the reason why is because they're not trying to have Fran and Mr. Sheffield do the break up, get back together, break up, get back together, which I appreciate because that is one of like my least favorite things about sitcoms, drama series, and all that good stuff. But I think it was pretty apparent with this season that they were running out of ideas to keep Fran and Mr. Sheffield apart like that romantically because like it's getting pretty obvious after a while you know and then they brought Brighton and what's the little one's name again yeah I'll think of it more but Maggie has still largely been absent from the show which is weird because the first episode was kind of about her I don't know why maybe there was something about the actress like going off to college or something so she couldn't be around as much I don't know I didn't do any research but I do think it is a bit weird that Maggie's just kind of gone and then also like I think in the first video I complimented like the sincerity of the characters and all that stuff but this one it was a little more mean-spirited humor towards each other. Oh yeah, and then back to the whole Fran Mr. Sheffield thing. There's even been times when it's been like glaringly obvious that they have feelings for each other and they still just don't get it and it's funny but it's also annoying at the same time. You know what I mean? I guess the only thing that's left worth talking about I guess is the cliffhanger ending of season three. There normally really isn't a cliffhanger, but for this season, there was a cliffhanger, and honestly, it was pretty... Okay, Mr. Sheffield. Mr. Sheffield, if any of the characters have actually, like, been downgraded, it's him, because Mr. Sheffield kind of has been messing with Fran in some ways. That's what I was talking about with the sincerity of the characters, because, like, I'm pretty sure it was this season. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've been able to really do a movie or TV show review. So I've I've technically already started season four. I'm like halfway through it. So I don't remember if it was in this season, but I'm pretty sure it was. He asked Fran to marry him and then took it back. And then he did something else with her and then they took it back. I won't say what happened at the end of season three, but it was something. And then it was like justified by Fran's mom for reasons of guilt. And, like, I get that. Guilt is powerful. It's more powerful than I think people like to give it credit for, but, like, that doesn't mean that he gets to put Fran on his roller coaster with him, because that's what it really feels like. It feels like he's going through all this, and he's just 
dragging Fran along with him when he needs to be dealing with the stuff himself, you know? Uh, so yeah, that was kind of my little spiel about the show and rant about Mr. Sheffield. I'll keep you guys updated when season four's review comes out, and don't worry, Will, and coming up soon, it's Halloween. Twilight's coming up. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>